Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 It's happening. Oh god, it's happening. Oh god, it's happening. You're probably wondering what's happening. Well, anyway, hello everybody. My name is Eight Miles and holy shit! I am losing my mind. Why? Square Enix have just announced that there will be an E3 conference for Square Enix. And that is really big. That is really big, as this year is the Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary. So you know what that means? I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting, like, it may not even happen, but I'm pretty sure we're now going to get a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. And please, please, Namora, give us, give us the freaking release date, my boy. And then if we get that release date, then... Oh, my God. <sighs> And so yeah, that basically means that Square Enix is going to be talking about any upcoming games that they have. But I think the big ones that they're going to be mentioning will be the FF Final Fantasy VII Remake and KH3. As those are their two big games that are going to be coming out within, I'd say, the next one or two years. And hopefully KH3 will get a release date. And hopefully, as everyone's been saying, hopefully it will be next year. And then if it is... I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play for it. I'm telling you that now. I'm gonna play through KH3. Like, I, like after this goes up, I'm gonna start a play from Kingdom Hearts: Birth by Sleep. So, if you guys would support that, because I know my gaming videos don't get a lot of support, but watch it because if you like Disney, you like random pointless stories, you like beating, like you like killing enemies for no reason. Like, yeah, I will be playing through that, and then you can see. Pretty good, I'm telling you that. It is pretty good, fam. Seriously, so, did you see my review on it? Yeah, I'm getting a bit off topic. So, what does this conference mean? It means there's obviously Square going to be revealing quite a few things. They may reveal a few new games. They're going to reveal a few things uh, about their new games coming up. I'd most specifically say Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy VII, KH3. Those are going to be the big three that, big three that they're going to mention. Personally, I reckon we will get a KH3 release date. As the last time Square Enix had a present at E3, and we actually got something big related to KH3, was 2015. That's when we got the last trailer. Because 2016, I don't think we got a trailer. I think we did towards the beginning of the year. But otherwise than that, 2016 was more focused on... 2.8 and 2.8 coming out and obviously this year we've had 2k hate games so far in February we had 2.8 and then in March we had 1.5 and 2.5 or it was April I don't know and I still don't have a PS4 so I can't fucking play them I need to get myself I need to I need to really become 16 faster so I can get a job get myself a PS4 and I can start playing the shit out of Kingdom Hearts because like I've played basically I've played every game in the series like I've played recoded because I got an emulator on my computer I've got a physical copy of 358 and Dream Dot Distance and I've played through Birth by Sleep the only games I haven't played and also Unchained Key and the Japan version the only games I haven't played are KH1 KH2 and Chain of Memories but fuck Chain of Memories in my personal opinion. So, yeah, that's basically it. I will see you guys later for the first part of my birth by sleep let's play. So, yeah, Square Enix are going to have a presence at KH3, and this is... Not KH3, E3, and this is... This is fucking huge, my boys. So, anyway, uh... Poor ladies, I don't judge. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been 8 Miles, and... Got it memorized. Get it memorized. Square Enix are at fucking E3!